on guys we're back here again with yet another review and today today's the day we're taking a look at the disney neca toys gargoyles demona action figure and this is amazing i mean this whole line is amazing they just revealed brooklyn the other day he looks fantastic i can't wait to get all of these characters up on the shelf i can't wait to have the whole squad posted up fighting her we need a macbeth um, I know they teased Elisa, or it looks like they teased Elisa. Um, give us the, 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 the wild packs. I forget what they're called. I want them. Give us um, uh, Xanatos and his suit. Oh, my God. The list goes on. I hope they go in-depth with these guys as they did with the turtles. I would be all in for that. But anyway, taking a look at the side here, you get Demona, a product image on the back. You get a quick little read-up, and then all of the product images of all these beautiful figures coming later on. It'll probably be... Bronx will be next, I'll get, then probably Hudson, Brooklyn, and then we don't know which one they're going to do first. Um, on the side, you get a different little product image, or is it the same one? No, it's a little bit different. On the top, you get gargoyles. On the bottom, there you go is the barcode. Now, this was part, you can see the figure in there, and then you get the other product image, but love this artwork, by the way. I wish I didn't keep the boxes, because I would cut these out and just put them all over the place, but... What I'm trying to say is this was part of NECA's Holothon with Target, which was a disaster for multiple regards, but luckily my Target got it a week late, and I knew that they were getting it a week late, so I came and got it, and I got the last one. They had everything there, the four-pack of Turtles, the Glow in the Dark Toxic, uh, uh, what's his name? Mutagen Man, is it Mutagen Man or Muck Man? Muck Man, the Glow in the Dark Muck Man and Joey Eyeball, uh, the Elvira, wasn't really interested in any of that, but this this is what we we're looking for I was kind of looking for bronx would love to get him too i mean i'm going to eventually but you know enough rambling from me let's go ahead and open this guy up so taking demona out of the packaging i have a couple QE, qc issues excuse me but other than that she's just as good as i had hoped i mean just take a minute to admire the sculpt and how the the, the, the sheer skill that these people who make these figures have to capture the look of this character so well in plastic form it, it's it's something that I, I i can only aspire to do from the detail in the wings to the accuracy of the body and to the beautifulness of the head sculpt they, they just really captured this um let's get it out of the way the wings here look fantastic you get that dragon-like scale on the inside there she has little hands on the top i think brooklyn does too um so we'll see. He, he should be coming relatively soon. I mean, we're probably going to have all the gargoyles by the end of the year, which is amazing. They just revealed this line last year, and it only took a year to get them all. So looks really, really good. We're going to see a lot of shaking on the camera, guys, so bear with me. It was purple on the inside, and it's like this dark bluish navy metallic color on the outside. A little bit of paint chippage or scuff there, but nothing too crazy. Uh, and then going in for the look at that head sculpt, that is Demona. The paint is so clean and matte, and it looks so good. Those are real dangling earrings. I think that is a first for me on figures. Like, they dangle. That's insane. The hair sculpt is crazy good. I'm just going to flip her head around because it's a little bit easier. It's really soft sculpt, so it won't get in the way of articulation. You get a little bit of paint, um, uh, like uh, shading on there, which looks really nice. The sculpt looks beautiful, and the whole head is like nice and soft and squishy. The gold looks good on her crown, and it's transferred good into her earrings and on the little bracelet on her arm. You do get a little bit of under boobage so ooh, that's pretty nice but um she looks really good with like the chest there's a wash on the cloth that looks really really good and brings out the sculpt i mean the amount of paint that neca puts in their figures there's body shading all around it's very subtle but you can see it the arms look really really nice i really wish she was pinless if she was pinless this would be perfect i know i bitch about the pins all the time but it's one thing that hasbro's been doing pretty good lately i mean mattel's been doing it forever but you know, whatever. I guess nobody wants to acknowledge that. Um, the claws are painted very nice. I like that. And then you get her belt buckle. The gold on there looks nice. The texture of the leather is different from the cloth. Loin, uh, she don't have no, you know what, but they did sculpt her cheeks very nice. And uh, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and appreciate that. The loin cloth has a great wash on it that matches the top. I mean, but the legs look beautiful. Uh, her tail is shorter than Goliath and the Thalogs, which is totally appropriate, but hers is crazy soft and bendy. Um, Goliath's and Thalogs was not like that, so that's that's really cool. You get the bracelet on the right leg, and then my one QC issue is that this isn't pinned in all the way. 
so it's kind of it like kind of falls out a little bit so i just have to be careful at this at the ankle there but other than that i mean just her standing there looks so good man like so good and you know, if you guys know my channel at all, I've reviewed every Gargoyles figure so far. I mean, it's only two before these, that her, but I mean, I think that's enough to just show my sheer excitement. I mean, I put Goliath at, like, number one best action figure last year. I mean, because he was just that good, at least in my opinion. So, yeah, very happy with this line. But the other cool thing about this line is the amount of accessories you get along with this great figure. So, let's go ahead and take a look at those. Taking a look at the accessories here. I mean, come on, dude. NECA. NECA. Thank you so much for not being a, a money-grabbing, hungry, loser company. Hasbro. <clears throat> but you get fist hands on her. You get big, clenchy hands. You know, when she's like, Goliath. You know, pretty awesome. Very sharp claws, by the way. You get the book. I forget what it's called. Like the the Granorum Kratorum or something like that. Uh, please say in the comments what it is. This is amazing. The amount of paint on this is insane. So it has two hinges in here. And then you can see the writing. I mean, I think it's in Gargoyle, so I don't know if it's actual writing. It might be in Scottish. Are they Scottish? I think they are. But um, you get the emblem with the crest. And not only one page, you get two. Look at that. The rope in the middle looks like rope. You get all this writing in there, a nice wash on the pages. And the book does shut, and you can clamp it shut. She does hold it okay and these like open hands like you kind of have to like angle it the right way but she will hold it so that's pretty freaking amazing the gold paint on the front looks so good this is an amazing accessory and not only do you get those but you get two of her big blasters that she got from xanatos even though she hates people but whatever um there's a great wash on there there's like four different colors going on here and they look great in her hands so I personally, I think I like this one a little bit more, so I'll show this one, but you get like the, the bullet at the front, you get like a wash, uh, silver dry brushing, and paint detail on there. This looks amazing, and it's like almost as big as her, um, kind of like Thalog's accessory. So you want to take her hand, and I believe this one goes this way, actually, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I don't really know, to be honest with you, because I think it goes that way. I mean... But then again, I, I don't know. I, I, I think it goes this way because it's the only way her hand like fits on it. So you can have her holding that. Um, that looks so badass. I like that so much. Um, but just for the sake of like, I know which way it goes. <laughs> let me know in the comments if I'm doing that right. I don't think I am though, but uh, I can't really tell. And I don't feel like going back and looking at stills from the show to find out because I'm lazy. But that looks so good like her with the blaster and then as you can see she has an alternate face which looks incredible it's the red eyes with the paint paints around it that looks so so good so this is probably how i'm gonna have her on the shelf um i mean you gotta get her mean she's a bitch you know that we all know that uh, anybody watching this or watched gargoyles know that she's a bitch so this looks amazing this is the way we're gonna have her on the shelf but and on top of all this, her articulation is damn near perfect. So let's take a closer look at that. So taking a look at her articulation, she has a double dumbbell at the neck. Of course, to her hair, she's not, it's soft, but she's not going to look up all the way. She'll look down great. She'll pivot side to side fantastic, and she'll go all the way around. It's just, but I don't, I don't blame them for that. You got the wings, the hair, you know, it's a little bit difficult. The wings will rotate. They're going to click in typical gargoyle wing fashion, which is totally fine by me. Um, and then you can lift them up to get out of the way. My one was a little loose, but if uh, my advice, if it's a little loose on the peg, like it won't hold its own weight, like it was kind of falling a little bit. What I suggest is just getting a little piece of paper, putting it in there and then pushing the pen or the peg in with the piece of paper in it. It'll make it tight enough. And then, you know, not really glue anything. So her arms will swivel all the way around. You'll just have to get out of the way of the wing bicep swivel. It'll hinge outward past horizontal which is nice like i said a bicep swivel double jointed elbows just wish they were pinless and then the wrist swivel and hinge of course and you're gonna get a diaphragm joint right under the loincloth so it'll go like that that and then it'll rotate at the top she'll crunch forward fantastically she'll go all the way forward not back so much so i kind of wish she'd looked up back a little bit more for like to compensate for the lack of head movement and then she does have a waist swivel as well the big juicy hips will move this far out um she'll kick forward that far back that much um pivot or rotate at the thigh cut 
I like making fun of the legs because my girlfriend's laying on the bed right now, and <laughs> I know she's giving me looks. Uh, double jointed knees, um, and then the ankles move down, up. You will pivot at the ankle, and then you can also pivot at the toe, and there's also a hinge at the toe. So, you know, gargoyles typically walk on their toes. Sorry about that. It's like hitting everything right now. So, obviously, you got to have like that degenerate dog leg looking thing. Um, I always suggest, oh, and the tail has a hinge, the tail will swivel, and the bendy wire is beautiful. Like, you can get it, like, almost to wrap around her body, so that's pretty sick. I always suggest using the tail as, like, a balance point. Um, like, you know, kind of tripod that I've been using it to balance against the back wall. Cause she does kind of tip, fall back a little bit, but that's mostly cause mine has a weird ankle. So I'm not really too concerned about it. Plus eventually when I get my display all together, when I move into my apartment, um, or a apartment, eventually I'm going to have the gargoyles flying because it's just, you can't have these guys on a shelf, but you got to get her next to the one and only Goliath. And Man, this is incredible to have these two together. Now, I'm not going to be able to, like, do much with them because they're knocking everything over with their wings. But first, you know, she's definitely shorter than him, but not too much shorter, which is accurate to the show. You know, he's big and buff and beefy. So they look great together. His wings are definitely bigger than hers. But again, I think that's also accurate. He's got enormous wings. I'm hoping his wings are the biggest. Um, but Brooklyn's look really big. So I don't know. It'll be nice to get Bronx because he'll be like the only character without wings or the, the only non-human character without wings. Um, so, you know, what are you going to do? But I think these guys look great together. Go, Be sure to go on Instagram and check out the pictures I took of them because they look really, really great together. So it's that point of the video where I know you're asking yourself, yo, Ant. What are you thinking of this figure? And I gotta say, guys, it's another amazing figure in the line. These Gargoyles figures look fantastic. Hudson should be next after Bronx and Hudson's my favorite character in the show. So I'm incredibly excited for that. Brooklyn looks amazing. I can't wait to get the whole set. Give me, give me more, give me more. Can't wait. But as for Demona here, fantastic. Sculpt, beautiful. Paint, beautiful. Articulation, beautiful. Accessories, amazing. This, There's nothing wrong with this other than the fact I wish she was pinless. If she was pinless, no issues whatsoever, at least in my humble opinion. So easy 10 out of 10. I'm sorry. I, I I know that I said if she was pinless, blah, blah, blah. Well, I don't care. It's my channel, and I'm saying that she's getting a 10 out of 10 because it's Gargoyles. And honestly, I don't think any of these are not going to get a 10 out of 10. I'm, gonna do, I'm just going to be real with you. I don't think any of them are not going to get a 10 out of 10 because they are all just that freaking good. But I believe that's all I got for today. So if you've not already, please do yourself the favor and like, comment, subscribe. And you know what? While you're at it, do yourself another favor. And follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Take tons of good pictures and tons of good videos on both of them, respectively. So be sure to go check that out. And be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Come on, guys. We got one year of the channel coming up very soon in June, I believe. So help me get to a 1,000 by then. That would be amazing. So if you're not subscribed already and you're still listening by any chance, please subscribe. It would be greatly appreciated. But that's all I got. So I will see you guys in the next review. And as always, let me know. You copping? See you later. Peace.